Hey, ready Sam back once again, it's time to test the beast. Well, massive fun anyway. You send me a benchmark. Let's do it. So yes, we are going to run the three of my most popular ones. And 2-2, two -two, Quadrant and Geekbench. So first of all, we will do on 2-2. Two -two. Um, the reason why we use these three is because they're three of the most universally accepted ones. I know that Quadrant's no longer the best, or it's, you know, it used to be good, but... We still use it, it's, it's, I don't know why, it's my go-to benchmark, but I do these ones as well because these are pretty much more universally kind of um, recognised now. So we'll uh, let it do its thing, we'll come back once it's finished and we'll uh, see how it performs. Right, so here we have them, the scores on the doors. So, where's my device going to be? Yeah, not fantastic, is it? One six zero five seven. Now this is running a quad core processor, and it's not much better than the HTC One X, um, the Google Nexus Four, the Samsung Galaxy S Three, and the Nexus Ten. They're all better than it. I can't run two two obviously. So <laughs> let's run the next one. So here it is, the next one we're going to run is, yes, Quadrant. We're going to let it do its thing once again. We're going to come back and we're going to see how it does perform. Again, while this is going through there, I just want to make you aware. Benchmarks don't mean everything. They're just fun to do. So yeah, keep that in mind. So that's the uh, benchmark done on that. And let's see what it gets performed. We have... Uh... Where are we? Oh, my device is at the top. So the bugger Sam. So we've got five two zero seven. So yeah, again, not exactly amazing, but we are looking at a more budget device running a processor that nobody really knows about because it is a a an, a wow or the wow zone version of processors. So yeah, let's on to the next one, which is Geekbench three. Right, so here it is. Now, as you can probably see here, when I get a bit closer, it's the an, uh, the Huawei Arm, which is 1.5 gigahertz quad core. It's only two gig around, but obviously it always shows less than here, so it's 1.75 and Android 4.1.2. Now, take into account the operating system may have a little effect, you know, kind of a effect on this as well. But as always, let's run this benchmark. Let's come back and we'll see how she performs. <laughs> And that's it, people. There we go. There are the final scores on the doors. It's a bit of a weird kind of a way to square there, isn't it? Look at that. Hmm. Yeah. Anyway, 384 on a single and a 1160 on a multi. Again, they're not exactly the most cracking scores out there. In fact, they, are, they do look poor. But again, as I said previously, benchmarks don't mean everything. This is just a test because we can, we geeks, we like to know what the benchmarking score is. In terms of performance so far for me playing with it, I've been relatively impressed. I think it's been pretty snappy. Um, there's not much it's kind of stuttered on, um, if anything, so far. But as always, people, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. It's very much appreciated. Subscribe for more because I've got many more videos on this and many, many other devices. Anyway, I'm going to finally get off. Thanks for watching this one, and you'll see me in the next one. Cheers, everyone.